Hello, I'm Councillor Phil Marks, the Mayor of the City of Belmont, and I'd like to give you an update on some of the decisions made at this month's Ordinary Council meeting. At this week's Council meeting, another step was taken towards achieving the vision of the area in Redcliffe known as Development Area 6. This area encompasses land bound by Great Eastern Highway, Coolgardie Avenue, Redcliffe Road, Fauntleroy Avenue and Tonkin Highway as well as Perth Airport's West Precinct and incorporates the new Redcliffe train station. DA6 has been identified as an area suitable to accommodate an increase in residential density due to the significant state government's investment being made with the construction of Redcliffe station. The area surrounding the station is intended to accommodate mixed commercial and residential development with a transit orientated focus and an aim to make it an attractive place to live and work. At Council's meeting, we adopted the draft Redcliffe Station Activity Centre Plan, which sets out the strategic vision for the area and the statutory planning requirements for development in order to coordinate future subdivision, zoning and development of land. This draft plan will soon be advertised so that we can receive further feedback from our community. It is important to note that this activity centre plan is not an approval for development to commence. This is just one step in a lengthy process required by the West Australian Planning Commission that must be done before any development can take place within the area. The draft activity centre plan aligns with the city's development area six vision plan and implementation strategy, which was formulated through extensive community engagement, including workshops, forums and reference groups. The draft activity centre plan envisages high quality spaces in addition to consolidated development sites, which are able to deliver extensive areas of open space that are necessary to maintain a high level of amenity for existing and future residents. The plan proposes that building heights immediately surrounding Redcliffe Station be eight storeys with a maximum bonus of 13 storeys, while within the residential area of the precinct, building height will be limited to four storeys with a maximum of six storeys where bonus criteria are met. The West Australian Planning Commission's infill dwelling targets for local governments require the City of Belmont to provide a minimum total of 6,100 dwellings by 2031 and a total of 10,410 dwellings by 2050. Forecasting indicates that the City is on track to meet the required infill targets, particularly due to the development opportunities within the DA6 precinct which could deliver up to 4,000 additional dwellings. There will be further opportunities for the community to have a say on the DA6 plans and propose amendments to the local planning scheme when they are advertised over the coming months. Information will be available on the city's website. Earlier this month, we welcomed the first community service organisation tenant, Valued Lives, to the second floor of our new community centre Belmont Hub. This is another significant milestone in the progress of Belmont Hub and the delivery of the city's vision for this community building. Valued Lives provides individualised, tailored and flexible community-based support to people who are vulnerable and their families. It was wonderful to see our first tenant in the office space which was designed specifically for community service organisations, thanks to funding received through Lottery West. I look forward to announcing further tenants to the building, as well as a cafe operator, very soon. And on a final note, the City of Belmont's Autumn River Festival returns this year on the 10th of April at Garvey Park. Book into one of two sessions and enjoy a free event by the Swan River with a variety of activities and entertainment. As part of this event, City of Belmont residents 
can access free vouchers for food on the day. So book your tickets via the city's website now as we only have a limited capacity. As always, to keep up to date with what's happening in our city, visit our website and our social media channels, including Facebook and Twitter. Thank you and please stay safe.